Good thing they didn't take away my signal rocket. Now I'll just have to figure out how I can use it to call on Max for help, if Max is even still alive. The campfire is expertly built. The guard seems to know all about this kind of stuff. Should I take the orange? Or maybe the banana? A raspberry, perhaps? Hmm, if I had a drop of sherry, some lemon juice, and a little whipped cream, I could make a fruit salad. I'll just take one of these oranges. I'll just take one of these oranges. I'll just take one of these oranges. I should not remove more than three pieces of fruit or someone might notice, and the stupid guard will start asking stupid questions. I could stuff the signal rocket in there in order to control its flight path. A fat lot of good that does me as long as I have no means of igniting it. Concept. The oranges roll smoothly enough and could be used as wheels. Maybe I can build something around this. The signal rocket goes into the bamboo tube, and then I adjust it a little, and voila! We've got what I like to call a mobile rocket launch pad. A bold design and a bold plan. Fits well together. I only hope my little contraption will stay on course. Why do these things keep happening to me? Ooh, what a mess. Someone should really... Where is Sam? What happened here? I vaguely remember hearing voices and... Oh, they kidnapped Sam. What am I going to do? Find Sam? But where do I look? She could be anywhere. I don't know my way around the island. And there are plants growing everywhere. Not a chance. What was that? The signal rocket was fired near the temple. Did Sam do that? Or could it be a trap? I've got to risk it. I can't let Sam down. It's stuck firmly in the ground. If these totems really keep the wild animals away, I had better leave them in place. A tree. Actually, it's not really a tree at all, but a herbaceous perennial. But I don't think these details are so important right now. A papaya tree. This is just like paradise. Sam must have planted this. Doesn't look like the fence did much good, though. Most of the leaves have been chewed by slugs, and some have been gobbled up completely. I don't even know which of these have been planted, and which of them are just weeds. 
Botany is not a hobby of mine. Let's see if there's anything useful in here. Sam sure carries some strange things around. Very strange things. Some of these tent poles still look halfway usable. I'll take them with me. The explosion destroyed everything else, I'm afraid. don't usually go around tearing out flowers, but maybe these will be of some use. It's much too soon to drown myself, and it's too late to bathe. The fish are just avoiding the obstacle by jumping out of the water and over the cascade. I could name at least 20 people off the top of my head who wouldn't be that clever. To quote Heraclitus, Pontere, after all, adversity is no excuse for disregarding the educational opportunities of the situation. How am I going to find the way to the temple in this jungle? Well, I've got to try this. I don't have much of a choice. Oh, you want to show me the way? Cool. Off we go then. Oh, oh that didn't work. Bummer. Oh. Listen, little fellow. I'm a lame, untrained biped. You will need to slow down a bit. The first couple of yards were fine, but then you just disappeared. So please, wait for me next time, okay? <laughs> I need to think of something so I can follow that monkey more easily. I'll fill this with some water. Pretty big. It must weigh around 200 grams. I wouldn't be surprised if it eats more than just flies. Good idea. That will keep the blossoms nice and fresh. Just wait a few minutes. Hibiscus tea. Very nice. Now what do I do with it? Now it's red dye. Not at all appetizing. I wonder what it will turn into if I wait any longer. I don't have that much time. Better just take the stuff as it is. The papaya is now red. Hey, how would you like a tasty papaya? There, buddy. Now you've got red hands, too. I don't care how fast you run now. Just as long as you stay on the ground so I can follow your red tracks. This looks like the temple. There's no sign of sand, though. The monkey's tracks lead around the temple. Guess I should follow them. 
There she is. She's locked in a cage, and the guard is heavily armed. Things aren't looking too good from here. Maybe there's another way to get to her. Max! He's alive! He found me! Now I stand a fighting chance of getting out of this cage in one piece. I had better keep quiet so the guard won't get suspicious. As long as I am the only one who knows that Max is prowling around this temple, our chances of launching a surprise attack aren't all that bad. I only hope that Max has got a plan, preferably a good one. If only I had a plan. Some kind of strange writing. I have no idea what it means. According to the heading, this is a translation of the Temple Doors inscription. Sam must have put a lot of effort into this. It says, Honor the Goddess enthroned above all. With her radiant being and ever open eye, she looks down upon her subjects, the mute and the homeless. Yet they have no one to blame for their miserable state but themselves. Were they not so self-centered, then they could see the riches at their feet, the queen's gold. Unless I'm very much mistaken, this is a carnivorous plant. No idea why they named it after the Roman goddess of love. Well, I can't get out from behind the tree without being spotted, but maybe it will smell bad enough from here to distract the guard. Hmm. The guard isn't reacting at all. I guess the distance is just too great. I'll put two of these poles together. That will give me an extended range. Yuck! What is this horrible stench? It's worse than a skunk! If I ever decide to become an evil mastermind, I'm going to make sure I never employ guards with sensitive noses. This is pretty big. I'd rather not meet the spider that made it. There are some strange white lines on this tendril. No idea how they got there, or what they mean. I'll just get rid of this web. I don't want to walk right into it by accident. temple without the monkey's red footprints. This spider is not only fast, but also pretty smart. It simply built its web between the other two trees. The fireflies, on the other hand, glow beautifully, but they're not too bright. Pretty stupid of them to fly straight into the spider web like that. 
Come on, my little buddies. I'm here to rescue you from the nasty monster spider. I'll just use these tent poles to stabilize the fence. Done. Smart fish. Instead of getting caught in the fence, they jump over the top. Pretty clever. Use the flag as a fishing net? Okay, why not? I guess it's worth a try. Well, that was quick. I might consider a career as a fisherman. You can use bacon to catch mice and beer to catch slugs. I always did like that kind of gardening advice. slug has actually climbed onto the can. I'll rescue it before it drowns. A hole in the wall. It's rather a fascinating structure, actually. But I don't want to get too close. Those bees don't look very peaceful to me. Just stand here and invite the bees to swarm all over me? I'm not suicidal, you know. First, I'll remove the cling wrap from the donut. Now what? Yikes! They must be really hungry. There are still a few bees about, but I'll risk it. Phew, that was lucky. I got through it all unscathed. Done! Yes, I am so great. They should make me the leading man in a movie or in a computer game. Okay, let's see what awaits me in this temple and how I can get to Sam. Barkeeper shoots at me and then takes off in a helicopter seconds before the ship is swallowed by a gigantic monster wave? Did I just dream that? Why would that guy shoot at me? And did he know about the wave or did the helicopter just happen to pick him up at exactly the right moment? 
Probably not. After all, he was going on and on about the end of the world and being rescued by that Puritas Cordis sect. What is the meaning of all this? By Poseidon. Looks like I've got quite another set of problems for now. The ship hasn't sunk yet, but since it capsized because of that monster wave, it only appears to be a question of time. I've got to get out of here, and fast. The poor guy looks rather beat. I can only hope that he's fit enough so we can get off this sinking ship in time. Oh, but where am I? We're on a capsized ship that could sink any minute now, and you've been trapped under a massive steel girder. But I'll think of something, don't worry. Uh, don't worry. When should I be worried, if not now? Good point. But I'm sure I can find a way out of this. You saved my life, after all. I owe you. Thank you. But I boarded this ship for a reason. You remember the incident at the harbor? The man who had that fatal accident? Exactly. He must have slipped you a letter right before it happened. But I haven't got any letter. Besides, there are more important things we should be worrying about right now. We need to get out of here. Why do you think such odd things happened on board? Why do you think people had to die? Trust me, this is important. I will not leave the ship without this document. You must find this letter. The pipe definitely looks worse for wear. There's a big hole at the top of it, and a connecting piece got ripped out below. I can still see some oil at the very bottom of the pipe itself. A lever for steering the ship. On the left, it says full speed ahead, and on the right, full speed backwards. At the moment, though, the lever is set to stop. Right now, the lever is set to stop, I could set it to either full speed ahead or full reverse speed. It's closed, but climbing through that hatch may be our only way out. The cabinet is secured by a combination lock. In order to open the drawers, I need to enter the correct number code first. A picture of the ship naming ceremony. In order to open the drawers, 
I need to enter the correct number code first. Seven, four, seven, five. I wonder whether that was the right sequence of numbers. I think that was correct. The drawer is empty, but I could at least use it as a makeshift stairway in order to reach the upper hatch. I could step on that drawer in order to reach the hatch, but before I open it, I should make sure that there's no water behind it, otherwise it could get rather uncomfortable down here. That sounded hollow. There seems to be no water on the other side. <sighs> there isn't much left of that fancy reception area. This metal rod probably used to be a rung from a ladder. All kinds of ship's records, papers, and documents. All kinds of papers. I don't think I will find that letter here, but maybe at least this will help convince the guy who saved my life that it makes no sense to go looking for it. I found my ticket. And just like I thought, there isn't a... Oh, but there is! It's true, then. The man at the harbor really did slip me a letter. But the document is full of cryptic symbols. I can't make heads or tails of it. And the enclosed drawing doesn't make much sense either. My ticket and the mysterious letter I was given at the harbor. The letter is full of cryptic symbols. I can't make any sense of it. And the enclosed sketch isn't very helpful either. Right now, the lever is set to stop. I could set it to either full speed ahead or full reverse speed. Full speed ahead. Right now, the lever is set to stop. If I use the lever now, the chain will probably just be pulled up again. If I use the lever now, the chain will probably just be pulled up again. Mm, let's hope this will hold. I can't think of a better alternative. Right now, the lever is set to stop. And now the other way. <laughs> did you find the letter? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, and now you must find a way out of here. The wheel is completely rusted in place. Even a gorilla couldn't turn it. I will place the bongo drum under the pipe with its open end up. They must have broken apart in the fall. The drum heads haven't been damaged, though, so they should still be usable.
there's already a bongo drum placed under the pipe. The pipe definitely looks worse for wear. There's a big hole at the top of it, and a connecting piece got ripped out below. I can still see some oil at the very bottom of the pipe itself. Hmm, looks pretty sturdy. I can't yank that out. There's already a bomb. They must have broken apart in the fall. I will place the bongo drum under the pipe with its open end up. The middle floor broke open and part of a steel girder fell to the ground. This is not a passage to the room above, it's only a part of the floor between the decks that broke open. This is not a passage to the room above. I will pour a little water into the pipe. All right, I've got the oil. Now for an opportunity to make good use of it. Hmm, a little oil could do wonders for the rusty wheel. managed to find that blasted letter, so now we should get out of here as fast as we can. What? How? O all right. We're going to have to dive a few yards. Do you think you can make it? Uh, I will have to. Uh, it's not like I've got a choice. Uh, the cold water is bound to keep me awake for a, a few minutes. Right, let's go. Oh, by the look of you, I guess you're not. 
Hello? He's not reacting. He's still conscious, but totally lethargic. Here I am, stuck on a beach in the middle of nowhere without a living soul in sight, and my only companion needs glucose or some form of sugar. Where am I supposed to find that? My goodness, what a mess!